Hi, Tom Mankey, Friends Community News Group. We're going to show you something tonight that's very, very uh, serious and very interesting. Um, breathalyzers, the alcohol breathalyzers, as I've got one right here in my hand, according to National Motorist Association and several other organizations and, and by uh, science, that state that breathalyzers fail legitimacy tests. Now, whoever heard of that? Has a police officer or a judge or anyone ever told you that because of your, because of your chemicals in your system, how you ate, what you, uh, anything else, that their breathalyzer test may be very inaccurate. In fact, the, uh, uh, National Motorist Association says that it's inaccurate many, many times. There's only one thing that is accurate, and that is to have a blood test. We're going to show you something. This is uh, this is absolutely insanity. Um, I've got a breathalyzer right here. I also got some icebreaker mints. Now, how many people carry mints, and after they've gone out and they've had a drink or two, and they think they're going to pop these things in their mouth, and then if they get pulled over, the officer is not going to know that they had a drink or two, and uh, it camouflages, and, and boom, they're good to go. Well, what you don't realize is that many mints, including mouthwashes and such, has alcohol in them for a breath alcohol, and that breath alcohol shows up on this machine high. So you may only be blowing a 0 .02, 0 .03, which is really nothing, uh, because 0 .08 is, uh, is, is, uh, is uh, drunk driving here in the state of Michigan. So you might, be, you might just blow a 0 .01, 0 .02, and you pop some of these things in your mouth, and we're going to show you what happens. It's a quick trip to jail. Uh, first of all, I'm going to turn this turn this breathalyzer on. Now, this one I'm going to be using tonight is called a GD Bow. Uh, it's it's a um, it's it's rated as as a very good very good uh, breathalyzer. Um, now, the police will tell you that they that they calibrate theirs every month, but what they don't tell you is that because you may have taken some breath mints you're going to jail. So, let's let's turn this thing on and see see what we've got. I drank on uh, an ounce of alcohol approximately 20 25 minutes ago. So, I'm still kind of going up because it takes about a, an hour for an ounce of alcohol to leave your system. So, if you have a beer which is about an ounce or a shot of whiskey or a small wine, and then you don't drink for an hour. Just a second. Here we go. All right. As you can see here, I'll, I'll turn this so you can see what it's going to say. I, I blew. It says I, I blew a point zero two .025. Now, it's probably upside down on the, on the screen here. But 0 0.025 is, is what I just blew. Now, here's what I'm going to show you. Some icebreakers. Okay. I popped three in my mouth. Oops. Lights are on behind me. I'm going to hurry up and pull these things up. In fact, I just pulled over and uh, eat one more, just in case. Got to get that alcohol off my breath, you know.
Now I just cleared it. It's got a clear button on the back. Now we're going to try it again. We're going to see what it does. You got the countdown. You always got a countdown, um, depending on the on the on the on the breathalyzer test. The same thing with theirs. Down to five, four, three, two, one. It says blow. And you blow hard. Look at what I just blew. A zero. Point one nine. Over twice the level of drunk driving. I wonder how many people have gone to jail that would have blown like I did a point zero two, point zero three, and be completely legal and pop these things in their mouth or some other breath mints and go to jail. So you say, well, they're going to give it to you one more time. Let's let's check it out. Yeah, let's let's check it out. Let me clean the um, let me clean the uh, the um, the blowing tube. I always like to clean that out, make sure that there's no alcohol um, showing up in the tube. And then we're going to blow one more time. We're going to see what it says. No, officer, I have not. Uh, yeah, officer, I had one drink tonight, which I did. Point zero two. Um. Uh. Blow here, please. Okay. See what it does. We're going to try it again. We're doing the countdown again. Nineteen. Eighteen. 13 now, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, it wants to uh, to do another countdown. Sometimes these things do that. They uh, they want to go back through, through one more time. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Three, two, one. Now blow hard. Okay, let's see what it says. Still a point sixteen nine. Twice over the limit. If you do not believe that you are getting a proper reading, tell them you want a blood test. Now, you still got to do this. You still got to give them the breathalyzer test or you lose your license here in Michigan, whatever. But you can tell them you don't believe theirs is operating right, especially... If you just ate some breath mints or gargled some mouthwash. So maybe the best thing you do is don't do any of this stuff. Don't play any games. And just, if you've had a drink or if you've had two drinks, just tell the officer straight up. Officer, I had a drink or two. He'll give you the breathalyzer test and possibly it, it's going to read correctly. And what's it going to read? Uh, a point zero two point zero three per drink in an hour. So if you have two in an hour, you're looking at probably about a point zero six point zero seven, and it's going to take you about two hours for that to come down out of your system. But um, bottom line is, yes, we got to get drunk drivers off the road, legitimate drunk drivers off the road. And not just throw people in jail just because we can. 
Tom Mankey, Friends Community News Group, live in Owasso, Michigan. Have a great day.